Welcome to iLecture Online. In the second example, we already have the summation format and now we're trying to evaluate this. So the idea is to look at this and say, well, that must look similar to something else. Some McLaurin series that I can convert it to. Notice that we have a pi to the 2n plus 1 in the numerator and a 3 to the 2n plus 1 in the denominator. Maybe we can rewrite the sum as follows. This can now be written as the infinite sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, we still have the minus 1 to the n power, but now we're going to put both of these, the pi and the 3 in the numerator, write it like this, like pi divided by 3, and the whole thing raised to the 2n, 2n plus 1 power, and divide this by 2n plus 1 factorial. Now that's beginning to look a lot like something we should recognize because the Maclaurin series for the sine of x is equal to the infinite sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n power times x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 factorial. And then when you compare this to what we have over here, notice instead of an x, we have a pi over 3, which means that this is equal to the sine, instead of x, the sine of pi over 3. So this can now be written as the sine of pi over 3, which is equal to the sine of 60 degrees, and the sine of 60 degrees should be equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And so this is what that summation is equal to. It actually makes it seem easy, doesn't it? But the hard thing is to look at what you have and then to, then to see if you can compare it to a Maclaurin series that you're familiar with and then try to make the one look like the other. And that's how it's done.